I'm Brandon Lee, and in this filmmaking tutorial, I'll be using the Jiyun Molus X60 Ultra Compact Full Color COB Light and the even smaller M20C, which is also full color but still packs a big punch. You'll see how these incredibly tiny, powerful lights can be used in a variety of real world filmmaking scenarios. This video is sponsored by Jiyun. Okay, so now Adina and me are at the street corner and we found these hanging Edison bulbs and this graffiti. So I'm gonna put the two lights on either side of us and blast them with different colors. And we're just gonna see how that changes the way this place feels. This X60 light is gonna have the diffuser on it. So it's gonna be a little bit softer. I have it on my extended selfie stick and I'm gonna weigh down the feet of my mini tripod with this brick that I found to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. HSI mode. 100% intensity, 360 degree hue, red, and 100% saturation. The second light is gonna be on our left side. So this one is way off to the left of the subject. This light is not gonna have a diffuser on the reflector, so it's gonna be extremely intense and direct. And I have it on mini tripod feet, extended selfie stick, same setup. I'm weighing down my mini tripod feet with my mini suitcase that I drag all my gear around in. So that's what's making this extra stable. And I'm gonna rise this one up way higher. The settings for this light, full intensity, full saturation, 240 degree hue, which is a deep blue. Here's how it looks with just the ambient lighting. And now here's how it looks with both lights turned on, totally different vibe. Let's go ahead and shoot the scene. Now the lights are in exactly the same positions, but I've changed them to CCT mode, which is the mode that goes from warm color temperature to cool color temperature. And they're set all the way to warm, 2700K. Both lights are exactly the same. 100% intensity, 2700K. So now the scene feels more like street light. Now as she walks, she's actually gonna pass one of my light stands, but I figure the audience probably won't really notice this stand in the shot because it looks a lot like the Edison bulbs around it. And she's moving past it and it will be sort of out of focus. So I think it will pass by quickly enough that nobody will really question it and the light will disappear into the background. Now I'm gonna do a technique called follow fill. That's where I use the light as a moving fill light while I film my subject. Normally follow fill is done with a second person holding the light, but since I'm up for a challenge and I usually shoot as a one man band, I wanna try holding the camera in my right hand and the light in my left hand as Adina walks down the street. My follow fill light is gonna be in CCT mode and the dim is gonna be 70% and my CCT I'm trying to match the ambience, will be tungsten, 3200K. And to give this scene a little extra punch, I'm gonna hide a second light in this doorway as a backlight as she walks. So this will give her a little bit of extra kick on one side. I'm not using diffusion, just the reflector, so I can have the most intensity possible. We're going to disco effect, and I'm gonna set the speed to three. Setting the dim to full intensity and rising it up as high as possible. So now I can move around this follow fill light to find the best angle for her face, right where I want it, and then I just hold it there as she walks. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna take a mid-roll break now to talk about the music that I've been using in this video. Lately, I've been sourcing my music and my sound effects from audio. For me, what makes audio really special is that it makes it really easy to get exactly the sound that I want. For instance, I can choose what kind of dynamics I want to have in my track. So if I'm making like a movie trailer, 
and I want the music to be constantly building in intensity, then I can choose that by choosing the parameter build and then I choose ascending. And then any track that I choose here will give me a steady build to a climax. And there's an even more advanced way to find similar tracks. Let's say there's a particular song that I really wanna use, but I can't license it. I can just copy and paste the URL of that song from YouTube or something else, and then I paste it into the Link Match AI search engine, and it will use AI to find similar tracks and present them to me. That's just a few examples of the ways that I use audio. If you're interested, please use my link in the description to sign up because you will get 70% off your first year of Audio Pro with my discount code. All right, now let's get back to the lesson. We are out here on a cloudy day and I want to get a shot of Kevin walking and I'm going to track him with my gimbal, but I would like to have a bit of sunlight separating him from the background so the shot doesn't look so flat. So I'm going to have my assistant, Kenneth, holding the light on a selfie stick just out of frame, sort of like you would hold a boom mic. And he's going to keep the light at a perfect angle relative to Kevin's face to give me a bit of edge light that separates Kevin from the background and makes this scene come to life. The brightness is 100% and the color temperature is 6,000 Kelvin. Okay, here's the scene with just the ambient light. This is how it looks. Now let's put the M20 on the bartender. So now I'm moving in and I'm gonna shoot in close up as he makes a martini. It looks like there's daylight coming from the window. Next, I wanna to try to add some sunlight ambience to this bar. So it's basically the end of the day right now. The sun is just about to go down, but we still have some ambient light out there through the door. So I wanna film a shot of Kevin and Adina at the bar. They're sitting behind me here and I wanna make it feel more like a sunny afternoon. I've got my X60 on my selfie stick sitting here on the counter, and I'm just gonna rise this up over their eye level about this high. So the level of the light will be a little bit higher than my subjects. So here's without the light, and then here's with the light. I'm in CCT mode. It's only 23% brightness, 6,500 degrees Kelvin. So I can make it warmer if I want for a later afternoon feel or cooler if I want. But basically the goal is to match the background light, match the natural light. Now I'm gonna pan the light a bit and feather it so it just catches the edge of Adina's hair so it's not spilling into the far part of the bar because that's where I'm gonna be standing with my camera and I don't want lens flare. Come on, I've never met anyone who doesn't like picking duck. Yeah, it's just not for me, you know? Really? Why? It's a, it's a little too greasy, I feel like. It's not greasy. It's it's like nice fat. It's good fat, I it's don't know. It's good fat. It's healthy well, fat. Well, probably not, but it tastes good. Now I'm going for a different vibe in the same location just by switching the camera angle and changing the lighting. So I'm standing here in the back kitchen area that has these glass walls around me, and I'm going to shine my X60 into the glass with an amber hue in HSI mode. And this is the M20 light, and I've taken off all the modifiers, so it's actually just the bare light, so I can get the absolute most brightness out of it. And I'm going to bounce it off this back wall so that it bounces back onto the faces of my actors. 100% dim, full brightness. Hue is 256 degrees, purple. And the saturation is all the way up, 100%. Hey, I'm I'm so sorry. Uh, terrible traffic, really, really bad. Uh, cause Forty-five way bad. minutes. I know, I know. I should have planned ahead. But uh, yeah, really sorry. Um, oh, see, so you got a drink already. More than one. Okay, so that's it. If you're interested in this Jiyun Molus X60 Lite or the M20, there will be links to them in the description of this video. If you want to learn more from me? Check out my film school unscripted studio. There will be a link to that as well. Otherwise, get out there, get creative, and make some cool lighting scenes of your own.